I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber. The question is, how do you find the length and width of a rectangle if the area is 36 cm square? So in this case, we are given the area of a rectangle. We don't know anything else about it, right? We just know that area is 36 cm square. The question is, how do you find what is the length of this rectangle and what is the width of this rectangle? Now, it is important to note that we have to find two things. We know only one thing, then we should have many solutions, right? So, so that is to say, there are many solutions. Since we need to find two things. Knowing one condition. So the other condition we can assume, right? It is open, right? That's what it is. And let us see how we can find many solutions at times it becomes very difficult to find one solution. Now in such cases, how do we find many solutions? So let's look into it. So we are saying that length times width is equal to area. Perfect. What are we given? We are given what area is. We know area is 36. Now if area is 36, in that case, I could have length as 36 with width of 1. So when I multiply them, I get 36. Well, if I take width of 2, I could get length of 18, right? That will also give me area of 36, right? 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36. And so on. Do you see that? So there are many possibilities. If I take 6, then it is 6 times 6 as 36. So all these values will give me 36 as the area as you can see. So there are so many different possibilities to find length and width combination, right? We could even take values like half. So if I take a value of a width as half, then the length can be 72, right? So there are many, many more possibilities to get to this result. Do you see that? Uh, if we plot these points, if we plot these points, then we could show it here. We know one thing that both length and width are going to be positive. Is it okay? So if we take smaller value, let's say this is length and this is width for us. Both are in centimeters. So, so we'll get something like this. We'll get something like this. We can get a lot of values. Where uh, somewhere here, the value is like uh, 6 cents, so something like this, right? A curve. So if I take 1, I mean the product is 36. Is it okay? So what we are trying to say here is that length times width is equal to 36 and we have taken width as a function of L, I mean related to L. So we can say width is equals to 36 over L. So depending on different values of L, we can get different values of width, right? So, and we can make our graph. Uh, well, both are equal uh, when we take the value 6, for example. Right? And for all of the values, the table will give you the result. Is it okay? So, there are many solutions to this. If, however, I ask you, what dimensions will give me, let's say, if you add these 6 plus 6 is 12, 9 plus 4 is 13. Do you see that? So what dimension will give us minimum perimeter? Then the answer will be 
6 and 6 a square will give me the minimum uh, perimeter in this particular condition but if conditions are not given to us uh, then it's an open-ended question and we have all possible solutions uh, so as we did one of the videos uh, what will be the dimensions that could be one question out of this the second question could be what could be the dimensions where the ratio of length to width is equal to uh, let's say uh, 4 is to 3 4 is to let's say 4 is to 2 I mean something like this right so you may get some decimal numbers or 1 is to 2 right whatever so that could be a possible question but there could be many solutions for an open-ended question where we are only given the area and we want to find dimensions of the rectangle as we have done this so the best way of course is to make table of values that show all the possible rather sub possible results i hope that helps thanks for posting such a good question all the best